What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We're going live a little early today. We're gonna go to uh wife's brother, my brother in law's locker game. So <clears throat> gonna give everybody a minute to get in here. We'll probably just play a little bit of Skyrim, maybe do a quest, and then we're gonna start in the subject of the day's stream is going to be um attempting to get the hardest achievement in the game. Now before we do this, actually, it would probably be beneficial. Yo, what's up, Streety? What's up, Sam? Um, it'd probably be beneficial to go see what we're actually going to be doing um, in today's video. So let me get this on where it needs to be. Skyrim and our... Okay, here here are the achievements. Okay, so and go here. And you guys should be able to see our achievements here hopefully you can see that um let's go down it's something that we've never gotten before one of the rarer achievements this one right here is what we're going to be going for um bound or a master criminal bounty of 1000 gold in all nine holes so that's what we're going to be trying to do today um you can see here i'm like slowly but surely making some progress but <clears throat> for now we're just going to play hopefully not give any of my information away anyways ladies and gentlemen hopefully you've had a fantastic day let's try to get up to 20 locks as soon as we possibly can what's up leo what's up boys help me so much thank you yeah man leo i appreciate that twice born what is up favorite race to play as i'm gonna have to go nord or man i'm kind of loving the dark elf we got right now i'm not gonna lie to you man i'm, I'm kind of loving it but let's go on ahead with jkl the great and see what we can do now i might do a just a random quest and then we can get into just gonna let people get in here because we were supposed to go live actually we were actually supposed to go live uh, about two hours from now so first race you've ever played as what kind of uh, play style did you use Shreddy? okay so let's just golly i, I keep forgetting that Byron looks so bad after the Civil War quest line. How do you fix this stuff? I mean, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Much stronger thanks to you. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, Leo. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming to them. Hey, Moses, I appreciate that, man. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, is there anything we can really do with this guy right now? I don't think so. We just kind of have to start, so... I guess we can... Start trying to get some... Start trying to get a bounty. How much is it for killing a guard? Forty? Okay, what about now? Okay, still at forty. There's my thousand. Now we just have to escape white run there's going to be obviously be a little bit shorter of a stream i'd rather die than go to jail gonna be a little shorter of a stream because this isn't gonna be too hard i don't think i don't foresee it being too difficult anyway so we killed a guard now that we know that guards will kill him we're not gonna have to worry about killing anybody and accidentally like messing up a quest or anything like that golly dude these guys are gonna be annoying I wonder if Atar left our service. He probably did. Oh yeah, my spectral steed from last video. Okay, are they still following us? So let's just go on ahead and run off this way and hopefully we'll be able to fast travel soon. Yo, what's up, Timo? Glad to see you getting in here a little bit earlier of a stream. Shield and staff builds. That's a unique kind of. That's a unique build. I feel like. Definitely. Alrighty, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So we should be good to go. No. Nope. And here we go. Bingo! Bingo! Bongo! More cultists. Holy cow. How big of a group do these guys come in? All right. And I think that's it. So now we should be able to 
so we already did white run let's go ahead and i guess do falkyrie next did you see a dog out there no didn't Until next time you're pushing we are routed. Get on the horse! Okay, so thousand bounty added to Valkyrie. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, our video Lee dragon fight would not be a Senpai Jake video without a dragon fight, that's for sure. All right. There we go. We got our complimentary dragon fight out of the way. Alrighty, let's go on. Everything looks super smooth. Well, that's good because it says it's not smooth. Order of the Stop right there. Buddy, I have to. I'm physically obligated to not allow you to. Okay, so this is two out of five so far, which we're already, I mean, two out of nine, sorry. We're making pretty good progress. I'm glad that we, I'm glad that it's enough to just kill one guard and that's plenty to get the 1,000 bounty. And since this is gonna be a much shorter stream, I might stream tomorrow, guys. Yo, what's up, Tyler? Glad to see you, man. Glad to see you. May stream tomorrow, um, just because, you know, we need to get some stuff done. Um, I do have a, the video that's going to go up Sunday, I'll probably have to stream it. Or I might stream it. I don't know. Anyway, that should be far enough. Is it? It is indeed. So now that we've done Falk Wreath, we can come over here to Markarth and do more of the same. Do more of the same. And we'll be able to just... Dude, Atar is still on our side. We've br brutally killed two guards. And Atar is still on our side. Kind of strange. What? Okay. That's... Dude, Atar, why is he a ride or die for real? You. Uh, no, it's not a mod. Uh, you can spawn it in. I did spawn it in. Um, in the last video, I spawned it in. I don't remember what the item code was for it. I don't know how you get it. Um, whoa, holy cow. Shoo-wee. Spectral horse. Where are you going? Spectral horse! Please. You will not have my head. You will have no such thing. Alright, so that's three out of nine. That's three out of nine. Fantastic. <laughs> not gonna happen, buddy. Sorry. Three out of nine already. Man, we might have to do something else in today's stream. At this rate, it's going to be like a 30-minute stream and we'll be done with the, with the challenge. <clears throat> How has everybody's day been so far? Everybody doing good? Let's go. Let's go with a solid uh, one out of ten. How's your day been so far? I'm going to give it. It's a it was a Friday or it is a Friday. So I'm going to give it an eight solid eight. Nine. Good, Tyler. That's fantastic. Let's just go right up this hill. I think I'm gonna get, oh, I think I'm a lot better at scaling mountains now. This is the last video, or maybe I'm not. Okay, I guess I'm not. That was a lie. Uh, Pinto, what's your opinion on the Elder Scrolls 6 coming? 
Um, like, when do I think it will come? Because I don't want to get your hopes up, but I think it's going to be about 2026. Maybe 2028, to be honest. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so we've got Markarth now. So let's go ahead to Solitude. And then we'll be about halfway done with this challenge already. I don't know why more people don't have this done. Because this, this, believe it or not, a couple of the articles that I've seen, I've seen anywhere from 3% to 4%. Of Skyrim players have done this. All the other ones, or I mean, I guess 96% of Skyrim players haven't done this before, which is kind of insane when you think about it. Yeah, I'll be very happy when they bring it out. I just don't know when that'll actually be. Here we go. Let's just drop this way. Should be the fastest way to get out of there, out of their sight line. Maybe they'll forget about us. Okay. This guy thinks he's good. There's my horse. Give me the horse. Give me the horse. There we go. Why are they hurting each other? That's because this random man in the dragon outfit, the dragon bone outfit, is brutally murdering guards. All right, here we go. Should be pretty easy. Come on, come on. When the trumpets sound, yeah, for real. That's what it feels like at this point. All right, so we got that one done. Next, Morthal. Wait, Morthal's the pale too, isn't it? How did I break the wall? I don't see it. I don't see how I broke the wall. Where's my horse? You're a vampire. Horse. Come on, go, 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 go. All right, that's five out of nine. What is going on with the stream today? I feel like it's kind of lagging. Okay, so that should be good now. Let's go to Dawnstar. That should be, this should be six out of nine after we get Dawnstar done. Killable Children Bond goes hard. Okay. <laughs> okay, where's my next victim? Okay. Oh, I found him. They say the family has attacked all the divisions. I cannot help. Done. Okay. I mean, this is so far. This is pretty easy. Where did my horse go? Hello? We really need to name him. Is that my horse? 
Well, there's one of my. That's my horse. I wonder if I could ride this guy. Because he's technically my horse, too, I believe. Yep. Go, 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 go. Wait. They're already not mad at me? Okay, that was a waste of time. Now let's go to... Uh, yeah, winter hold, definitely. Oh, guard, guards are pursuing me. Ah, there he is. Oh, come on, man. And of course, there's... I'm just going to ignore this thing, too. I hate dealing with ice rates, the magic anomalies, whatever they are. I hate them, bro. They're the worst. Sorry for the dog, boys. Hey, brother. Hello, brother. Okay, perfect. Now we should be able to go to winter. Oh my gosh. And here comes the problem with this stupid challenge. Come on. Where's this guy at anyway? There he is. Great. to say did i just kill him wait did it just say removed no way it just said removed can somebody please shut that stupid dog up come on bro please okay thousand bounty added to the pail please Okay, we can fast travel now. So we have the bounty. We have the thousand bounty in the pail. Now, does this count as the pail too? Don't set anything on fire, right? Is there not like a guard or somebody that I can slay? Perfection. Thousand bounty added. Go, go, go. I will not stop. I actually refuse to do that. I feel like I really need to part ways with my man, um, Atar, but he kind of. He's kind of lit, to be honest. All right, that one's done. Now let's go to Windhelm. Very simple. It has been very simple so far. Where's a guard? Out of the door. Let's try right outside the door. Should somebody? Try not to set anything on fire. All right. Perfect. It's no secret. Ah, ah, ah. Doing some reaching. Trying to call the back. Perfection. That should set. Yep. Perfect. You have committed crimes against Sky. Oh, have I? I'm wanted for like five thousand gold right now. Um, I know that I'm wanted, brother. Sorry, brother. Where's my horse? Sorry, my reindeer. Rudolph, take me away.
Okay, can I fast travel? I can indeed. So now we should just have Rifton left. Rifton and we're done? Is that right? Yeah. Rifton and we're finished. I had another Be careful, Leo. The Thieves Guild has maven Blackbriar. Take coward. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, was that a thousand? Yeah, there it is. Master criminal in 20 minutes. It literally took us 20 minutes to get the entire thing done. What? Okay. Now we just gotta escape the guards. Yeah, I, I do think, I still currently think I can get away with it, buddy. Wow. That was uh, not gonna stop. Haven't stopped yet. Don't intend to now. Which I guess we've already got it, so we could go back and make it right with all the place. Ah, we'll do that. We'll do that when we're when we need to go there. Okay, that was oddly enough the easiest thing i think that i've the easiest thing i've tried to take on in a stream guards still pursuing me that was 20 minutes the last thing we tried to do in a stream took us four streams or five streams across a week and a half so i'm not so sure how to no a bounty collector this is new never seen a bounty collector before he was extremely bad at his job anyway i guess ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen if you want to see four bosses in skyrim that you definitely missed watch this video right over there Anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. Don't forget to read your Bibles. Don't forget to pray. But above all else, thank you all so much for your time. Peace out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now, now that we're done, which is crazy that we're done in 22 minutes. I really thought that was going to take a lot longer. Ah, ah, bruh. Props to you for doing your job. You just, once again didn't do it well anyways golly dude i feel bad now because here we are 22 minutes 23 minutes and effectively uh, the stream is over <laughs> i didn't have anything else planned for today this was the hardest achievement that i found in all the game so i guess we just move on to our devotional and this will be the record shortest stream hmm kind of wild if i do say so myself so let's go ahead and move on to our devotional ladies and gentlemen um it was a quick stream but i had a good time i really need to plan these out more ladies and gentlemen we will be streaming tomorrow probably uh, especially since this was such a short stream we'll probably either stream stream the recording for sunday's video or we'll just do this as Sunday's video. Man, do it on survival mode? Nope. Oh, gosh. No, thank you, Twasky. All right. The headphones are off. You know that. Um, for the devotional. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on ahead and look at the verse. Sorry, guys. Let's go ahead and look at the verse of the stream. If we go in our old handy dandy Bibles. Herb's going down. So if we go to our handy dandy Bibles, we're going to turn to the book of Luke. And Luke 11. Forget these. The chapters in Luke are very, very long. Okay, here we go. 11, 
verse 33 through 36. I'm going to go ahead and read them, and then we can talk about them. Second. Go on ahead. No one, when he has found it, uh, uh, when he has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a basket, but on a lampstand, and those who come or who come in may see the light. The lamp of the body is okay. So that is kind of the that's the initial parable, um, thing. That's the initial like thought that Jesus had, and then he's going to go in and explain exactly what he meant by what he said. We take. If we take verse 33 as kind of the setting, like the thesis or the main idea of what he's trying to say here, and then we can take 34, 35, and 36 as him explaining it. Okay, <clears throat> so verse 34. The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you, in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, the whole body will be full of light. As when the bright shining of all of, or of a lamp gives you light. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our, that is our verses for the day. Um, if you have any questions uh, pertaining to the faith or pertaining to these verses, um, please, this will be the time to ask them or, or say them, and we can kind of maybe formulate some conversation. Anyway, I also wanted to show you guys this. So I did get a new Bible, got a new King James Version, and the Premier Collection, ladies and gentlemen, the Premier If you don't know what the Premier Collection is, I know we had very short stream, very small stream, in comparison to what we usually have, hopefully some of the normal guys can come in here and watch this later um and i really apologize for that but i do want to go to my brother-in-law's soccer game he's in Oscar. so um, you know you got to make time for family um, above above everything else anyways so <clears throat> let's go on ahead and unbox this thing right now so we have this awesome I'll show all of it. it's the premier ladies and gentlemen this is the cadillac HAV Bibles, in my own oh so humble opinion, it's my absolute favorite Bible that I've ever seen. Life. So, <clears throat> as you guys know, right here, this is my daily driver. This is the best Bible I've ever had. Um, this is the NKJV wide margin, um, the wide margin large print reference Bible. So if you open it up, that uh, we are in First Chronicles has. Pretty wide, even in the inner margin, now that I've broken this down, even in the inner margin, outer margin, has plenty of room to write notes. Up, oh, this is too bright. You can kind of see a little bit. And then we have, obviously, our um, uh, reference here at the bottom of the page. So, very nice Bible. I had this for a little over a year. Um, I've had it since February the 1st, 2023. So. About a year and two months, about 14 months, I've had this Bible. Been in it. I love it. Um, however, the, the quality of material, especially for the amount that I use it, this isn't like a humble brag or anything, but especially the amount that I use this thing daily, it's really starting to, I don't know if you can see, really beat up. And I didn't take great care of it by any means, but it's still yet kind of suffering binding area. And um, there are some different places that I don't want to really dox myself and give away my phone number and things like that. But so I did know this at the time. I kind of got this Bible. This was a test Bible. Kind. I'd never had a wide margin. I'd never had a note taking Bible um, that I've used anyways. So I went ahead and got this one as like a starter, like a, like a way to take get a note system um, down, color code system, different ways to take notes, different ways, so it all is succinct and it looks good. I did that because there was a nicer version of this Bible. There was a nicer version that was NKJV Premier Collection Bible. It is the exact same Bible on the, on the inside. However, 
premium black goat skin. Very nice ribbon. Very nice. It's got the raised fine hubs on the back. It is just an absolutely beautiful Bible. Crazy nice. Crazy nice Bible. But if we can go on ahead and turn to the same page here. 758. So, as you can see here, look at this page here. We can see that is kind of the page layout. That is kind of the page layout. See right here. Psalm 133, right here is Psalm 133, so remember, right there, then we pay this guy up here, we have Psalm 136, or 133, 136, exact same Bible, just fine, different, it also has beautiful red under gold, art gilt, it's fantastic, fantastic Bible, very, very happy with it. I have many Bibles as well and Strong's Concordance for studying in the Bible. Yeah. Uh, I have Strong's Concordance. There she be. There she be. Strong's Concordance in the Vines Dictionary. Uh, that's a volume <laughs> in and of itself. I have that. Then I've got this Matthew Henry. I don't know much on Matthew Henry, Matthew but I've got his commentary on the entire Bible. <laughs> Once again, a wild volume, wild volume. Um, so, you know, you take those two together. <laughs> you got some pretty chunk, boys. Um, but I figured I should that because I know some of you guys are into it. Yeah, yeah. This, this here is, uh, I think I gave. I think I gave like thirty bucks, twenty seven dollars for this, maybe. Uh, the, the tag says thirty five. Pretty sure I paid a little cheaper for it. Very nice concordance, very nice dictionary for some study um, and things like that. But it has a ton. I mean, it's. I mean, it literally says it's. It says it on some, somewhere on here. Yeah, I mean, it's just exhaustive. It's this is exhaustive. It's huge. But, anyways, <clears throat> just figured I'd share this with you guys. I know that it's not, we didn't have a typical stream today, but I'm very happy, very happy with the stream. We got it done very, I mean, I, I thought that was going to take a lot longer. Because when you look at, when you look at an achievement in Skyrim, you're thinking, okay, you know, 3% of the player base, with, with Skyrim being such a huge game, 3% of the player base has gotten this achievement? You're thinking, oh my. Yeah. Here, let's go on ahead and get into my let's go into my Steam library and we'll look at some other ones that we have. But yeah, we just got that one. No, no, sorry. I'm I'm wrong. I lied to you guys. I point blank lied to you guys. If you look right here, two point five percent of Skyrim players have this achievement. Two point five. Two point five percent. That's crazy. Here, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you um, a little closer here on the leather. I didn't really get up close to the person a little bit. Go on ahead and do that. Look at Look Look how dang. Just absolutely gold in there, man. It's just such a beautiful bobble. Yeah, let's see. Can you see on here anywhere about global achievements? Yeah. You, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. This is exactly what we wanted. So you can see, like, the most common, only 70% of players do Unbound. Everybody does Unbound, right? I think. But you can see here when you start scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, and scrolling down, the only one that's more rare, and they're tied, is Dragon Rider. So, I mean, you know, we, we, we obviously have to get all these today. Or, not, gosh, 
not today. We have to get all of these at some point. We'll probably do a big stream where we try to get, you know, the rarest of rare. But, dude, I mean, that's crazy that, you know, we literally did one of the hardest things in Skyrim to do in 20 minutes. It took us right at, like, 20 minutes. It's crazy. So, I mean, you guys can see all my, all my Skyrim stats here. It's not very impressive. Keep in mind, I played a lot on Xbox. A lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and put up my put up put up the guy here. Oof. Oh, put up put this guy back in the box. I mean, you know, it's almost to the point where you never worship the book, right? You got to be very clear that you worship the God the book is about. Um, but this book, this specific tome that I have, honestly makes me scared to write in. It's so nice. And I will tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to be point blank with you. I did not buy this at full price. <laughs> Actually, what happened was me and my wife were sitting in the living room, and I randomly looked at it. And it's weird because, like, I watch Bible reviews and stuff on YouTube and, like, just watch them unbox Bibles and stuff like that. I love it. I don't know why. It's really nice to go to sleep to. Anyways, so I'm watching, and I wonder. I wonder if that – the NKJV one that I want, the one that I've got, I wonder if it's going, I wonder if it's going to be on sale. So I looked, and it had been on sale, so the original asking price, the MSRP, is, color are your subheadings? Uh, red. Can't see that. There they are. They are that dark red color. Very beautiful Bible. Anyways, um, I did look, and it had been at about $110. The MSRP on it is $190, and it had been at $110. That's where it kind of stayed, and I was like, okay, yeah. You know, one day when I, when, I get, when I get this Bible filled up, I get this Bible absolutely filled to the brim, and I have my note-taking system down, and I read through the Bible at least two to three times, which I'm on my second read through right now. I said, I'll splurge and get the big one. So me and Allie were looking, and I seen it. And I was like, what's that Bible? And it was $65. $65. It was crazy. So in essence, I ended up lucking out. It was the last one on Amazon. And ended up looking out, getting it for $65, a $200 Bible. Got it $135. Pretty much. Crazy. I'm on your newest read through. Uh, how many times have you read through it? Um, so this is la last year's kind of when I really started taking it serious. Or not really. I didn't, not, not, I don't want to say when I started taking it seriously, because I've taken it seriously about. Kind of rededicated myself to the Lord and things like that about two years ago. Well, I guess 2022 was my first big year. 2023 was the first year that I read through the Bible. 2024 will be the second year that I read through the Bible. Um, anyway, that is kind of the way that I'm doing it. And honestly, I'll tell you guys this too. Uh, I'm making some very good progress. Let me show you. This is a thing. There's a guy... On YouTube, he does a lot. On the day you got saved. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good... Th yeah, I'm on one too, Tyler. Don't feel bad, man. No, no such thing as only one. That, that's one time. You, you, I mean, that's good, dude. That's good stuff. What up? Uh, yeah, uh, we, well, Attic, I mean, honestly, man, we got our challenge done in like 20 minutes. And like 24 minutes in, we were done with the Skyrim part. So we've kind of been talking. We've just been sitting here. I've just been sitting here running my yap for the last 20 minutes. Anyways, so let's, I'll show you this. There's a guy on YouTube named Matthew Everhard. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Um, if you like Christian content and you like to watch Bible content and stuff like that, you probably have. But he makes this document. He makes this document. Let me actually, let me actually do something.
that might help you guys be able to actually see. So, every, you can actually see that every box, there's a box for each chapter of the Bible. And what you do is you go through, and as you read the chapters, you mark out which chapters you've read. As you can see, here we are in April, and I'm halfway through the psalm. You know what I mean? So I'm making pretty solid progress. Pretty solid progress. I do say so myself. Very happy with that. So I'm hoping to do it. I might, I might read the Bible twice this year, honestly. Because with that amount being done, I'm probably about a third of the way. Gosh, I don't know. No, I'm probably about halfway there. Close to half. Yeah, because I think like Psalm 118 is half of the Bible, I think. Or something like that. Anyways. Sheet that helps you read through in a year and it breaks it up better. I'll send you a photo of it on Yeah, I'd appreciate that, Tyler. Hundred percent, hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, that's when I start twice born is the January first. Hey man, I, I recommend it. I recommend reading through probably, you know, once a year, I think, is good. I think after after my third read through, when I get done with my third read through, I think I'll have a solid grasp on the entire picture um, after the third read through, and that's when I think I'm going to start slowing down and just reading like a chapter or two a day, and just really honing in on each chapter and trying to break down each book of the Bible slowly and methodically, if that makes any sense. So like now, like today, I read like 20 chapters. <laughs> you know, just just sit in of a morning and I listen, I listen to it in the KJV and I read it in the NKJV at the same time. So I'm sitting there going through while he's reading it in my ear, you know, and sit down for like 45 minutes, you know, and get like 20 chapters done that way. Yo, what's up, Obey Nate? What's up, man? Anyways, I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the kind of outline that I'm wanting to do. And maybe go through the Bible a couple times like that. Then we'll be at five. Five is the number I want to reach. I'm I'm pushing to reach five as fast as I can. Old Testament is just such such a turnoff. It was written for a different people at a different time, but some of it is just hard. Yeah, some of it, I mean, some of the Old Testament is tough. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I have a tough time with the Old Testament. I have a tough time with, I'd say, what is it? Okay, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. So Leviticus is tough. Leviticus is very hard. Um, numbers is a little easier. Um, Deuteronomy is kind of tough. Joshua was okay. Judges is so so. Judges Ruth. Then you get in the first and second Samuel. First, second Samuel, first, second Kings, first and second Chronicles. So, either the way that I like to do it, or the way that I would do it if I was reading, like, and you just want to hear the stories once. So, you go through and you're like, you can either pick First and Second Samuel and First and Second Kings, so those four books, or First and Second Chronicles. I would rather do First and Second Chronicles because it's shorter, and I'm pretty sure it kind of tells the same story, cut up different, um, if that makes any sense. But it is kind of tough. It is kind of a grind. Read through it three or four times. Golly, golly, man. I wish I could do that, dude. I really do. See, I, I read so slow, naturally, like by myself. I read so slow. It's crazy. So I have to have that guy help. Or his name's Alexander Scorby. <laughs> Just, I like that guy's uh, voice. Um, hard to read through. Yeah, it is hard to read through, you know. And But the way that like, I look at it is like, you know, it's there for a reason, you know. I would never look at you and say, well, you're just wrong for feeling bored by it. No, I feel bored by it too. But it's there for a reason. So if we read it and we ask the Holy Spirit to help us and lead us and guide us in what we're reading, then hopefully we can glean something from it. We can understand it in a whole new lot and we can kind of get more from it, if that makes any sense. Uh, you got a life outside the house. <laughs> oh, man. But that's just kind of where we're at. Yeah, but guys, I mean, I've had a fantastic little stream here, a little 45 minute stream for the culture. You know what I'm saying?
I mean, Attic, you're not wrong, man. So, let me, sh I don't think I have it on this. Let me. No, I don't. There is a YouTube channel that I've made. Let me show you. Really quickly. So, and you guys can look it up if you want to when I show you. Channel. Uh, it might be tough to find. There's no videos posted on it. There's no subscribers. I know exactly what the thumb or what the profile. Man, crazy that you can. There's so many YouTube channels. Maybe it's just. Ah, I can't find it. I have made a YouTube channel for it, though. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Don't forget to read your Bibles, and don't forget to pray. I hope you guys had a fantastic stream. We'll be thinking about it. I'm going to be starting to post some stuff on that maybe. Maybe start making some videos for that channel. It's going to be more IRL, Christian content, maybe some weightlifting stuff as well, as I am an uh, avid weightlifter. You wouldn't tell by looking at me. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys after a while. Peace out. Hope you guys have a fantastic night. Might stream tomorrow. I will let you guys know on the Discord. Thank you all so much. Your time. Peace out.